all right everyone welcome to the channel if you're new here do not go any further subscribe subscribe to the channel right now all you people do not subscribe and try to get the info just subscribe to the channel and always get the info like the video join the discord we're on my free to play account right now not this one though not the image all right the image is just the guideline but this is the free to play account right <laughs> Uh, free to play account we are progressing on stream if you guys are having issues progressing when it comes to black clover just join the streams just follow the streams along i help a lot of people out reroll accounts make new accounts and things like that now look free to play okay i know no one else is making guides on how to do raids even some whales are having some issues okay and they don't understand the mechanics and stuff like that i mean honestly if you just look at the phases yourself you can kind of figure out how to beat the boss but there's some nuances with it i totally understand that so for free to play there are some substitutes for these characters of course and i'm going to give you the guideline here before i even get into how it actually works so is asta needed no asta is replaceable with any other dps i've been recommending a lot of people on my channel to pull for raya as we all know raya is the best green dps if you don't know you do you now know okay raya is literally the best green dps for the next five months or so so Raya, in my eyes, he's not a, like, uh, I kind of consider him a must pull. I'm not going to lie, because you won't have another good green DPS after him for a long time. Now, with this raid, you can replace Fenrir if you need, if you don't have another speed up unit, replace it with Voltos. I know some people have Fenrir or Voltos or have both. Yeah, both. Okay, you're chilling. First team does consist of Lotus, Asta, Mimosa, Finral. and as you can see doesn't even have max levels and the team average is pretty kind of standard for free to play you can probably get even better if you do have good gear at the end of the day now just to show here it is cleared okay you guys can go back in the video and you know check the crystals and stuff like that it is cleared okay so it's not a fake account it's not a fake clear it's totally free to play as you can see so going in to the skill setups for the autoplay okay now before like i said before i get into this there are substitutes so team two right with yami yami is there to be a glass cannon nuker since yami does not have that much defense that's why charmy is there to get the heal off then we are also using charlotte okay we use Charlotte to give attack down because when it comes to phase two, when the boss does attack, it does a lot of damage. So you're using attack down with Charlotte to lower the damage and using William for fortify. Okay. After that, then you're going to use Charlotte to use her skill two to put the defense down. And then William uses attack buff for Yami. Yami does the ultimate skill. It's a one shot or does massive damage and you're able to clear after, right? What you can actually do with phase two is that you can, well, you know, the first two units are pretty universal to get. If you don't have Yami, you can use Jack. A lot of people have Jack and not have Jack built up. Jack is actually the best nuker here. If you don't have Yami or Jack, you're honestly going to have to use any other blue character that's able to nuke. If not, if you have Asta, if you have Season 1 Asta, you're able to use Season 1 Asta as well. I've seen videos of Season 1 Asta. Now, with William, okay? William does have substitutes. Now, William... If you if seeing that, like, it's hard to survive... You can actually go Marks. Now, Marks is a R character, okay? So... Everyone should possibly have him if you did some summons on your account, unless, you know, you absolutely got shafted on your summons. <laughs> like me not getting second. But you have Marks here, okay? Now, what Marks does, he's an R unit. And if you really care about this raid, for whatever reason, you want to clear stage six. If you're free to play, you only need to clear stage four. So this guideline will really help you clear stage four. But he reduces tack down by 52% and also gives a crit rate buff. Your entire team, and uh, as we most of us know, crit rate does increase your team's uh damage, 
by almost 50%. It's really like a 30% damage increase, but it's still a damage increase at the end of the day, right? It can make or break your run. So that's basically how phase two go. Now with William, right? You can replace William if you have Finral and use Voltos in team one. Finral is kind of squishy, so you do need defense on him. Now, if for some reason you can't nuke the enemy because you don't have William, you can switch Lotus instead of William if you have a green DPS. So if you have Raya, you can run team one with Raya instead of Lotus. So that's basically how you would change the units and things like that. Just for TLDR here, Lotus, okay? Well, for TLDR, Asta can be replaced, okay? That that DPS slot is free. It can be replaced, all right? But most of it is there for survivability. And if you don't have Mimosa, you can use SR Mimosa in Phase 2 and then Charmy in Phase 1 just so it's uh, elemental neutral and not taking as much damage, right? So... Fenrir can be replaced if you have Voltos. Okay, then you would just run Fenrir on Team Two instead of William. Now, if you feel like, oh, if you, if you already have William, then keep William there. But if you don't have William, then you replace William, right? Now, if you feel like you can't really nuke the the second boss, but you have enough damage, put Lotus instead of the William slot, but only if you have a green DPS. Because a green DPS has to take over Lotus's spot. Because the reason why you also have Lotus is for incapacitate that it does increase the damage dealt to phase one. So going over the phases and how they actually work to give you guys a guideline here. So let me just go to this. Okay, so this is how it works. So in phase one, right? How to auto this Part six as a free to play. You kind of need the right characters and tactics. Stage four is needed every day for a dupe shard. It does kind of involve, involve luck and RNG. Phase one, the boss can do an extra attack if no barrier. So you could take S1 no well, which will make it easier, but you don't need it. Okay. Now, phase two does a lot of damage, and that's why we have the attack down characters as well. But how phase two works. After the first two attacks, basically the boss will go in exhaustion mode and they will take 50% more damage. So you want to use your nuking skill after the first two attacks. So you want full damage on your DPS. It can be done with no enhancements, as you guys can see. I mean, one enhancement is not really going to make or break a character. They're not even level 100 for that stat gap. Now, you want to use special skill first on Lotus for to uh, inflict the speed debuff. That's why Lotus is so strong for PvE, for mobs, and bossing. You can inflict the speed debuff and keep it an infinite loop because when you use skill 2, it actually extends the, the debuff to 3 turns. Skill 2 will refresh in time for you to keep the slow going and you get extra turns. Now... You can use Lotus and Mars for Phase 2 if you do have replacements for Phase 1, just to land the slow 100% of the time. Now, Season 1 will mostly is there for Healer, because obviously you need your heals, of course. Again, like I said, you can go SR Mimosa if you don't have this Mimosa, and you know use Charmy, um, and then just like replace them so they don't you know get hit a lot by the damage element, right? Now, Finroll is there for a safety cushion because the boss can actually gain speed and counter your slow mechanic. If it does get an extra turn, it will mess up the basically the debuffs and you won't actually get the full turn effect. So you're going to have to like restart and things like that. Now, you can use Voltos, but you'll probably have to do it manual just because how mobility works. Now, the main core here is Lotus, one healer, one speed up unit. You don't have Asta. Like I said, you can go someone else, right? Now, team two. Now, Yami is going to be your glass cannon, okay? So probably a two-piece attack set, um, advanced attack, normal, uh, advanced attack and the base attack uh, sets. And then you can go speed as well, go as much physical damage as you can. So you're going to need Charmy to output your heals. 
the enemy boss is going to attack first so like i said we have charlotte for attack down william for fortify it basically creates that sef uh, safety net for survivability william uh charlotte's going to use skill two, reduce the defense william's going to speed up yami get the buff and then you want to use turn uh skill one on the first turn because the boss will not be in exhaustion mode yet so there's no point in using special skill first because you're just gonna basically gonna waste it once the enemy is in exhaustion state to lower its defense then use yami skill along with the defense down from charlotte you know the attack buff and it will either one shot it with a crit or do really massive damage now if you can't do it on stage six it can absolutely one shot stage four it can absolutely one shot stage five like i said if no william before it will be kind of harder but there are options as we already went over you know you can replace him with finral you can replace him with lotus if you have a green dps for team one um or you can replace him with marks like like i said that gives attack down and create up so your yami can do a little more damage but that's basically the free to play guide to clear this. I know a lot of people were asking me like, oh, how do I do, how do, I do this? How to clear this team comp? And even like some whales like, but this group can't clear it. But that's basically how you clear this uh, raid, even as a free to play. Even as a free to play, you can clear this raid. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. I'm always going to keep it real with you guys. As everyone knows who's in my community, I keep it real. I'm not just going to make videos about summoning and shit like that. I always watch the community. What the community is talking about? Everyone's talking about summons. No one cares about that right now. What about the raid? What about the dupe shard? That's what free to play needs, right? So I'm always looking out for the free to plays, even though I do spend myself. Because I know how it is out here. I've been playing gacha games for 12 years. But thank you guys so much for watching. We will be doing our progression guide day two later on today. But we do have another stream that I have to actually take care of right now. But hope you guys have a good one. Join the Discord. Leave a like. And see you guys later.